Hey there, today for you, how to shut down the open guard. So Richie is kind enough to come down here and uh, demo for today. Thank you, Richie. So let's go into what sort of a worst case open guard scenario is. I'm standing here, my legs are straight, Richie's getting, look at, okay, if we just freeze here for a second, he's got control of my biceps, he's got another foot in my hip. If he pushes with that foot, I'm gonna be stepping, he can make me step, he can off balance me. What's another open guard position here, Richie? Maybe like a Delaheva sure. position. So Delaheva, he's controlling my leg, my leg's getting twisted. Again, he's got the foot on the hip, he can push here, make me step. What's another open guard position? Maybe collar and sleeve, right? Yeah, collar and sleeve, both so, feet on the hips. So again, here he's pushing me, my posture is completely broken. He can basically attack with an omoplata, which he's doing right now. He can threaten the arm bar, the triangle choke, it's terrible. So. The way to shut down a lot of this is to prevent him from getting his feet into the right position. Where do his feet want to go? They want to go into the folds of your body. They want to go in your biceps, in your uh, hip area, behind your knee. Those are the big ones. There are a few other places, but by and large, if you control those, you're doing all right. So, I don't want to be standing with straight legs because look, his feet can go everywhere they want to go. I want to be squatting down, and look how I'm bringing my own forearms here. I'm essentially making a wall along the side of my body here, so it's hard to get the foot on the hip. It's hard to get the foot on the bicep. Yes, he can wrap around the outside in the Delaheva, but here, if I turn out a little bit, unless he's crazy meow flexible, I've dislodged that hook. So this is often my basic approach when attacking open guard. I step in, and I get in this kind of horse stance. I did a lot of Kung Fu in my younger days. It's kind of like a horse stance with the feet closer together and here. Trouble is, this is tiring. This takes work. It's a lot easier to stand here, but it's a lot easier for him to sweep. Mm -hmm. But by bending down like this and keeping my hands in play for grip fighting, it shuts down an awful lot of open guard stuff. We're here, and I'm gonna be grip fighting, he's gonna be grip fighting, but I'm really protecting this pocket, and I'm really protecting my bicep pocket. It's a little bit hard to get yeah, a spider you're shutting, guard. You're shutting down everything of value for me, yeah. which is to get into the corner of your hip and to get deep on your elbow with my foot. Very difficult. Now, it's true this does open like reverse De La Hiva stuff. There is no one position that's 100% effective, so you need to have some answers to reverse De La Hiva, and you need to have some answers to regular De La Hiva, which is wrapping around the outside here. But a lot of the power of the De La Hiva is predicated on what this foot is doing. If this foot's out in space, let's just leave this here. Go ahead and De La Hiva me. It's pretty hard for him to stop me from turning out. So if I can neutralize this leg, it cuts down on the effectiveness of that leg. Once again, bringing us to the power of being here. Now, of course, from here, I'm grip fighting as well. I don't go, ha ha, I'm here, and give him like a collar choke and you know, total lapel control, he's going to figure something out. But if that's primary on your mind, protecting this and protecting your biceps by being here, as opposed to being here, which opens you up to that whole spider guard scarecrow game, you'll do a lot better. So that's one major approach that I use when I'm battling somebody who's got a good open guard, is to stand in a low horse stance, feet fairly close together, and really building a, sh a wall along either side of my body. That's a pretty good starting position for just about any guard pass that you want. It's also actually quite similar to what uh, Lovato does with his headquarters position, right? Mm -hmm. Like here, this is essentially um, the exact same. If Certainly. you go away, once again, we're here, <laughs> right? It does take thigh strength. It does take leg strength and leg endurance, but this is jiu-jitsu. Nobody said that it was gonna be easy. It's going to be tiring. The trick is to make it less tiring for you than for your opponent.